Hello, this is Kids Invent Stuff. My name's Ruth and I'm all on my own. Usually, we'd have Sean here, but unfortunately, I've got COVID. All the build components are in my workshop here, which means I have to at least start this build on my own. Now, the irony of this is that we are building a crazy hat invention, and the hat that we've chosen to build before I got COVID is a periscope hat. So we're going to be building 10 year old Gabriella's periscope hat, which is designed to be able to look over walls and see things where you can't quite get close enough or see things that are really high. And I would like to see anything that isn't the four walls of this workshop or my house. So yeah, I'm very excited to get building this and see some of the outside world. Let's go. Kids invent stuff. So Gabriella's periscope hat is built around a helmet and this is the right size helmet for me and although it's the wrong colour, we will paint that later, this is going to form the basis of our periscope hat. On the front is going to be the periscope and hopefully we'll be able to make that extendable and the whole thing is going to be camouflaged and covered in flowers. But first, we need to make a periscope and to do that we need to understand how they work. So periscopes allow you to see around corners or over things and they're often used on things like submarines. And they use some very clever but simple science to work. So let me get some mirrors and I'll demonstrate. So this is me and I want to see this little Lego brick up here which is on a different level and I can't see it because it's on this big box. Now the way the periscope works is it reflects light. So to be able to see this brick up here, the light needs to hit my eyes. The light is going to reflect onto this mirror and that's gonna bounce it down onto this mirror, which is going to then reflect it into my eyes. So the light from the object strikes the top mirror at 45 degrees and it bounces off at the same angle and that sends the light directly down the tube and onto the lower mirror. This mirror is also at a 45 degree angle and it reflects the light directly into your eyes which means that the angle of the mirrors is crucial to making this invention work. Now I'm going to make my periscope out of pipe and that means that I can use different sized pipe to make it extend. It also means I can use these 90 degree pipe bends. Pipe bends? <laughs> I just need to find a way to mount my mirrors into them. So the plan is to have these at the top and the bottom of the pipe so the light can come in at the top go down and come out at the bottom. So I need to find a way to mount my mirrors into my 90 degree bends at the top and bottom so that they're in line. Let's go. So I've used this piece of sacrificial pipe to work out where to put my mirror. Now there were a number of options with this. I had some plastic mirrors and some glass ones. So I could have cut down, sanded down the plastic ones and tried to make them fit but the glass ones gave a much better image. You want it to be a really clear, crisp image. Plastic ones bent a little bit and so it wasn't as good. So I wanted to use the glass ones, which were a bit trickier to cut down. So I decided to put a slot. So I've just been working out where that slot needs to go. Just kind of butchered one as a bit of a prototype. So I get it right so that it looks really smart on my next one. Also, the brain fog is real people so i apologize feel free to point out anything that i say or mix up in the comments uh it's like brain fog brain see brain fog meets dyslexia meets dyslexia oh my i'm gonna go sit down see you in a bit so quite often when we're building we will each film each other so there isn't someone special here filming it's usually just sean filming me and me filming sean now obviously i'm on my own i can't do that and when i'm building things I need my hands. I've had an idea, obviously, and put a camera on a tripod like this, but I think this is genius. Bought one of these, ready? So I can have a head mounted camera. So if I press record, I mean, it's a bit wobbly, but yeah, ta da! So let's do a little practice. Take my little piece of pipe and some mirrors. Gotta remember to keep my head still. Let's, let, let's see what that footage looks like, shall we? So let's do a little practice. Take my little piece of pipe and some mirrors. Got to remember to keep my head still. Beautiful. Expect this build to be filled with such beautiful shots as that. Please stay with me on this. So I've got the 
basis of the periscope, we have uh, two mirrors. The light can go in and it can go out. But currently, this is a little short. So I've got this piece of clear pipe. Uh, and the plan is to use this to extend our periscope because it fits nicely in between there. Not entirely sure if I'll get that back out of there, but it'll be fine. Yep, that's a bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be. Ugh. There we go. So the plan is that the periscope will be green, but if I paint the outside of this clear pipe, then every time I extend the periscope, it will scrape off the paint, which means ideally, I need to paint it on the inside. And that in itself is a challenge. Could have done a lot worse. Mount is on. Time to attach the periscope. <laughs> so our periscope is done. It is retractable so it starts off this size and then you can extend it um, and I was going to put some sort of bolt in so once it was extended it would stay in place but I actually quite like the fact you can turn it so as I'm looking through it, oh I hit the beam, as I'm looking through it I can turn it so that I'm looking at different things. Uh, now all I need to do is to paint it, obviously I need to be careful not to get paint on any of the mirrors, uh, tape a few things off but then I can paint it and mount it on the hat. So Gabriella wanted her hat to be covered in plants and flowers. So I have these flowers and some grasses, which I'm going to cut up and stick onto our helmet. Now Sean and I couldn't bring to life kids invention ideas if it wasn't for all of your support at home, whether that's liking the video or subscribing to the channel or sharing it with a friend. Now there is a group of people that give us a little extra help, which is our patrons. And if you want to join them, there'll be a link on the screen. But as always, we just want to say thank you for all of your support. So Gabriella's periscope hat is finished and I've had my second negative COVID test which means I can go out into the world to test it. Now Sean doesn't even know that I've built this so I think it's time to prank him with it. Introducing the Mega Deluxe Floral Periscope Vision Helmet from KIS. Using the latest in precision embedded optical technology, the Mega Deluxe Floral Periscope Vision Helmet allows the wearer to undertake covert surveillance activities with maximum stealth. That's right, nobody will ever know you're there. Crafted from precision engineered thermoplastics, the Mega Deluxe has a heavy duty, rugged assembly and is designed for maximum ergonomic comfort in all environments. You can use it here, here, or even here. And the helmet's elevation busting eyeline extender mode makes obscured vision a thing of the past. Never have your vision blocked again. So why not enhance your domestic covert surveillance operations today with the Mega Deluxe Floral Periscope Vision Helmet from KIS. Order yours today. So Sean is up there sunbathing and I'm gonna use the periscope hat to prank him. Let's go. Without me. Don't do that. 
That one properly got me. So I take it you're free of COVID then? I'm free! You, you properly got me. I didn't even know you built it yet. Do you like it? We'd chosen Gabriella's invention to make, but I had no idea that Ruth was building it while she had COVID. <laughs> you got me. Thank you so much, Gabriella. We love this invention. It looks so cool as well. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.